Finishing the business cards have been a lot more work than I had hoped they would be. I thought it'd be fun to talk about what I have been able to achieve and not achieve. It is Friday, June 7th, and finishing the business cards have been a lot more work than I had hoped they would be. Um, <laughs> figuring out the back of the business card was more frustrating than actually doing the artwork. The hardest part is trying to figure out where I want all the text and information to go, and I eventually figured it out, and I also used my last set of business cards, the illustration cards as a guide or a reference and I realized at first glance that my Etsy shop link's not even on my old cards. That's like the most important link. 
and it's not there i swear i looked at that thing like 500 times before i finally submitted it to get printed and it's not there thankfully the qr code is there so if someone scans it the etsy shop does show up i honestly can't believe I forgot it. I also decided to print it on watercolor paper. Why? Because I have it laying around and I know that I'm not going to ever watercolor. I am not good at traditional art. That That's just how it is. I've tried a zillion times. I just fell every time and also I just don't keep up with it enough. I still have a few pieces to cut. I have five pages to cut and I already cut one yesterday because I wanted to make sure everything was fine yesterday i had a problem with the front and back one thing that i forgot to do when i was making up the files was making sure that the files for the front and the back were centered and they weren't centered which i thought they were I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of these so yeah, let's get started <laughs> I just finished cutting all the business cards and this is how it looks like. It feels like it's a lot more than 54 cards, but it feels really nice and that thickness is just really nice. Overall, I'm really happy with how the business card turned out. The only thing is, of course, how it printed on there. The watercolor paper was more of an off-white color and that also could be because I've had that watercolor paper for a very long time. Um, I have a lot of different types of paper laying around and I would definitely like to find a use for all of them. This would get me through Cosplay Imagineer from now till August 24th and then once the Quebec City Comic Con comes up closer I will probably have to make more because usually there's over 20k attendees so that would be my biggest event but uh um, yeah for the Quebec City Comic Con these are being reprinted but most likely on different paper probably on the matte photo paper from Staples but yeah this is finally done I'm really happy it took forever it took longer like always with all my projects <laughs> but yeah these are done so we can finally put them away I have 10 of these left so we're gonna put these behind here and we're good for now i thought it'd be fun well i guess it might not be fun for you but i guess for me just to document it i thought it'd be fun to talk about what i have been able to achieve and not achieve from the plans that i made from last year for my small business we are at the halfway point i wrote my plans down before the beginning of this year in my bullet journal. I'm loving keeping up with the bullet journal even though I have not been doing the best job at it. So I have stuff written on my future log and a future log is basically just putting the months down and then writing what you're planning to do for each month. I had nothing for January because usually January is a very quiet time for small businesses. Everyone has been traveling and has spent quite a bit amount of money for Christmas gifts and so on if you celebrate Christmas. So January tends to be a very quiet time. For February, I did the Mini Quebec City Comic Con which I was really really happy that I got to be a part of. I applied pretty late but got really lucky with getting in. And I also had a shop update. I had this spring bee shop update where I had the art print, a keychain, and I also had the Captain Froggle sunflower spinners. And I also had a spring bee sticker. But it's been a while so I can't exactly remember what I had but I think I launched the shop update after the mini Quebec City Comic Con so at least I kept up with that. By April I was hoping to do a summer update. I've never done a summer update. I was like you know what 2024 is going to be the year that I do it and it didn't happen because 
the shop update that I had just launched not too long ago it ended up taking a lot longer than I thought it would that's just what happens you plan things and then other things happen that's just how it is so maybe next year it's actually nice to have already done two shop updates usually I like to plan at least three which looks like what it's going to be and what I'm usually able to do, three shop updates. I have also planned to try to do something called Biz Babs at Home. It's an online convention which I've never had experience with and you might be familiar with the name Biz Babs because I did create some art prints to send to them to sell at their boba shop and every month they do the Biz Babs at Home and I wrote down every date that they're doing it this year and I'm still deciding which would be a good date for me to do it at. I think the smartest plan would be probably after I do an autumn or Halloween update which it seems like I'm planning to try to launch in July and then I wrote for September because I know for a fact that the Christmas update is not going to happen at the same time as the autumn and Halloween update to have the Christmas and winter shop update so i think if i do the biz baths at home it would be the smartest to do it sometime in october maybe even in november but november is kind of pushing it but it is before black friday like right before black friday if i do it but i think it would be the smartest to do it then because if i do it in october i have the quebec city comic con the huge con it's only two days though but still it's Going to be my biggest convention they're having biz bags at home on the 20th which is literally just the week after and i don't think i can handle that even though it's an online convention <laughs> i'm going to be so out of it because if you guys have watched me i have said many times i don't have that big of a social battery like one outing a week is more than enough for me <laughs> So I think I will sign up for the November edition of the Biz Bags at Home. I think that would be the smartest because that's when people are looking to buy stuff for Christmas. That would be, I think, just enough time before everything starts getting hectic during the holidays. Anything after Black Friday, it's not going to be guaranteed that you get it. Just keep that in mind as a customer and as a small business owner. So yeah, that's pretty much it that's pretty boring isn't it i don't have a lot <laughs> written down and depending on how cosplay imaginary goes in august honestly i don't think i'm going to be manufacturing anything if i'm being honest with myself i really need to step up my game a little bit with making products at home so i'll think about that as well but yeah that'll be it for this vlog i'm sorry that this vlog did not have too much in it <laughs> the business cards caused me a lot more trouble than i thought it would but that's just how it is but yeah i'll talk to you guys next time bye